चिल्ड्रेन नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम से दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए मिक्सड सर्ड सो मिक्सड सर्ड मीन्स वॉट हियर ए सर्ड विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए इंटू एंथ रूट ऑफ बी एंड हियर ए शुड नॉट बी इक्वल्स टू वन ए शुड नॉट बी इक्वल्स टू वन देन वी विल कॉल दैट सर्ड्स आर मिक्सड सर्ड्स सो लेट इज सी दैट गिवन ऑप्शन हियर क्यूब रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन क्यूब रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन दिस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एंथ रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन ओके और एंथ रूट ऑफ सम ये हियर so here which rational part is there nothing is there means we have to consider it as some one so we will call this one as a pure third is it clear now come here fourth root of 16 um is it a pure third or mixed third so children just you have to observe that here fourth root of 16 is it a third first we have to observe that here we can write this one as the fourth root of 2 power 4 Which means two to's four, four to's eight, eight to's sixteen. Okay, so here power and the root having that same order, right? That's why four and four gets cancelled. So here we are getting that it two. So two is not a third. Okay, so that is not a pure third, and that is not a mixed third. That is a rational number. Okay, that is not considered third. Next one. So fourth root of eight, fourth root of eight, that is a third. But here that is a pure third or mixed third. That is a pure third. Why? Because fourth root of eight here nothing is there, no. So nothing is there means we have to consider it as one. So that is one means that is a pure third. So finally the last option is two into cube root of two. So this is in the form of a into nth root of b. Here a is equals to two, which means a is not equals to one. So here, which one is the mixed third? Two into cube root of two is that mixed third. Okay. So children, the next problem is the simplest form of cube root of one sixty two. So while this type of problems given means first we need to take that prime factorization of radicand. Prime factorization of radicand. Okay, so what is that radicand here? That is a is equals to one sixty two. So first we need to write that prime factorization. So that is two into two eighty ones. Okay, after two into again we have to write this one as three into twenty seven. Three twenty sevens eighty one. So next thing is two into three into three nines twenty seven. Okay, just I'm factorizing that the last numbers. So here nine is there. Next one two into three into three into nine. We can write it as three into three. Is it clear? So what is that prime factorization here? Two into three power four. Two into three power four. Actually, what they given here? Cube root of one sixty two. So here. Cube root of one sixty two. We can write this one as cube root of two into three power four. Two into three power four. Three power four. Again, we can write it as cube root of two into three cube into three. Why? Because I split that one means here we have that a cube root. Okay, that's why I written this one as a power three. Okay. In exponents, we discuss that. A power m into a power n is equals to a power m plus n. By using that condition, again you will get here three power four. Three power three plus one is equals to three power four. Okay. So here we can write this one as cube root of the leftover numbers two into three is equals to six into three cube. Is it clear? Now this is in the form of nth root of a b. By using that last of radicals, nth root of a b we can write it as nth root of a into nth root of b. Split like that. So cube root of six into cube root of three, which means cube root of three cube. Just I split that. So here cube root and three gets cancelled. Now here this is three into cube root of six. Okay, so which option is correct? Three into cube root of six. 
Okay, while this type of questions given means first we need to take that the prime factorization of a radicand. Okay, after completion of prime factorization, just we have to write like this 3, I mean cube root of 2 into 3 power 4. Just here I split that. Why? Because that split is also depends on that order. Okay, depends on that order of the set. Here 3 is there, that's why I written here 3. Okay, why? Because if you write like that means then we can cancel those two easily. So what is that answer here? 3 into cube root of 6. So children see the next problem that is the product of two similar quadratic sets. Already we discussed this one. The product of two similar quadratic sets. It's a product what you will get. That is a rational number. Okay. So answer is the rational. Just example once again say that two similar sets. 2 into square root of 3 into 3 into square root of 3. So here these two are similar sets only now. So take that product. While you are taking the product, first we need to take the product of rational numbers. That is 2 into 3 is equals to 6. And here square root of 3 into square root of 3. So which is equals to 6 into square root of that is 3 square. 3 into 3 is nothing but 9. So 9 we can write it as 3 square. So square and square root gets cancelled. That's why the product of two similar thirds is always a rational number. The next one is the product of two similar cubic thirds. Previous we taken that one as a quadratic thirds. Now here cubic thirds is given. Then what you will get here? Just take one example. Cube root of 5 into cube root of similar thirds no? Two similar cubic thirds. So these two are similar thirds as well as cubic thirds. So what you will get here? Cube root of. This is in the form of nth root of a into nth root of b. So again you will get it as nth root of a b. So which is equals to 5 into 5. Cube root of 25. In all cases not possible. So in some cases we will get that one as a rational number. Some cases we will get it as a third or means a irrational number. So here again we are getting here cube root of 25. So that is a cubic third. If that order is 3 then we will call that third as cubic third. Okay. So the product of two similar cubic thirds. The product of two similar cubic thirds is again we will get it as cubic third. So, the next thing is the product of two dissimilar thirds. Those two are dissimilar thirds. Then what we will get their product? Already we discussed this point also in that theory part. Okay, that is the product of any two dissimilar thirds. Again, we will get it as irrational number. If that is an irrational number, then that is a third. Okay, just example. Square root of 2 into square root of 3. Already we discussed this. These two are dissimilar thirds if you take these two product then you will get it as square root of 2 into 3 so you will get it as square root of 6 okay so square root of 6 is a third or not so again we are getting that third so in that option say if they given that rational irrational means answer is irrational but here irrational option is not given no if the result is irrational then again we will consider that one as a third Okay, that's why here the product of two dissimilar thirds again we will get it as a third. So children, this is again a repeated question. Already we discussed this one. So the product of two similar quadratic thirds. Similar quadratic thirds is always rational. So just four points already we discussed now. The product of two similar thirds is always rational. If you take in the quotient of two similar thirds, that is also a rational. Okay, if you take the product of two irrational, I mean the product of two dissimilar thirds, then you will get it as irrational part. Okay, again you will get that irrational number. And in the same way, if you take the quotient of any two dissimilar thirds, then also you will get that irrational number.